Okay, so I stuck me five book pages together. That's sort of the size that I want, so it's easy to see in the screen. Okay, and it will it can make a book cover if you want, you know, with some spare. And you know, I just find that the best way. So best size. I actually don't know what size I do it. Sometimes it's give or take a bit. It's eleven by about thirteen. Okay. And it just depends on what size book you got. You might yours might be bigger. So I've just got this one. And it's, you know, nothing nice. <laughs> but it's great for bases. So I'm going to do it with a glue stick today. And and also, I'm going to start from the middle-ish today and work out. Normally, I work outside working in. But I thought, today, I'm going to have a change. So there's one of my bits of paper I want to use. So it's going to still go with the big ones first. I'm going to put one of those in. I don't matter getting glue on here because, I'm, like I say, I'm going to go over it with um, gel medium.
Okay. Let's have these. not too worried about that bit there because we do tend to trim up a bit so that's fine
Yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave it as is. That is fine. Okay. Right, now I'm going to start to decorate with some stickers and things. So that has taken quite a bit out of my pile, but I'll go back into my little scrap pile because this is all pretty good. So got rid of quite a few bits. Right. right use some of these. Right, I placed a few things around. Another topology stickers and things, which I thought is going quite nicely so i need to put sort of these ones down that is going to go under these stickers first so i'll get on with that which i feel that's quite balanced <clears throat> as a whole but really shouldn't be looking at it as a whole but i do like i do tend to My fingers are a bit sticky now, so don't chew it. So it doesn't matter if it does, it still is fine because it's vellum. So it's a little bit heavy handed, really. And I should have I've got stickiness off my hands. <laughs> Let me look.
there we go right I am gonna coat that with matte medium I'm hoping that the vellum will be okay but it needs to be done so I'll stick down if there's anything it might wrinkle a bit but matte medium is usually pretty good so I shall go ahead and do that I will just be careful I use a Liquitec one well, I use a couple actually it's just that this one's nearest to me so I use a thick one as well this is a runnier one but what I'll do I'm, I'm not putting it straight onto that because of the vellum I'm gonna be a little bit careful yeah And I do prefer matte medium to anything. Um, Mod Podge is okay, but I find once you've put Mod Podge on, that should be your top uppermost layer. With gel medium, you can still work on the top of it. So you, yeah, and you have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, with the wrinkles. There's a couple little bits in the vellum, but not very much. And I have a feeling, you know, you could go over that and flatten it. So. I mean, any sort of moisture does not like, vellum doesn't like it at all. So you just have to be mindful of that. So what I'm doing here is just, while it's drying, flattening, that one was okay. Yeah, that's coming on. That's all right. A little bit there, but do you know what? That's not going to be bad at all. I'm okay with that. Right. We'll add to it okay so it's all nice and dry and um just so that you could see what i was doing i just cut the, the first bit off because i want to i'm going to have tags along this way so they're going to be three by six so i cut the cut the bottom off by six and then i was left with whatever i was left with there which will be smaller tags i think or maybe a journal card i'll have a look at that one in a minute i'll do this one first and I'm just going to go along, I think. Let's just have a look at that main one and see what's left. Let's have a look first. Oops. That's okay, actually, that end one there. Quite like that. Yep. Yeah. That's by three. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. <coughs> Yep. 
I like, I love doing it like this because you never know what you're going to get. So, just going to see where that ends up. That could be quite interesting. Let's, let's go this way a minute and have a look. I'll do that actually. What I'll do, I'm just going to trim the edge off and just that little edge just to okay and then I'll do this way so let's see which way is best I would say it's going to be that way okay so that's those ones Great tags, yep. I mean, they just come out so different, don't they? They're great. Love them. Yep, perfect. So, these are all for my next journal. Okay. Or maybe my next one. Not sure. I actually want to do something that's a bit blue next time. Only because of something. Oh, I know. The cluster kit. It was quite blue, wasn't it? Right, let's have a look. Where should we start that end? Okay, I think I will. That's, um, I don't know what size that is. It'll be all right at five. Oh, it's going to be quite square. So five by three. Yeah. A little bit shorter this one only because I'm just straightening up. Okay, but then that could be a tag that way. And that looks quite nice actually. So either or there. Okay. Right, so I'll go through these now. Just gonna take that off of there. So that's those ones. So four main tags. And then these, yeah, they're still lending themselves to going that way, aren't they? Um, that one could go that way. Yeah, that looks quite nice. That one lends itself to going that. Um, and so does that one, really. Okay, but that one does lend itself to going that way. Yep. Yeah. Okay, right, I'm going to stitch around all these. Um, I'm going to make these into tags. Yep, so, and I'll do the tag shape, stitch around them, and then we'll go from there and see what bits we can add with my own embellishments, I think. Okay. 
Right, so I've stitched all around them and I thought I'd start decorating. I thought they looked a little bit like they needed a bit of lift. So I'm going to use, I've got this napkin here and I've also got some foil in, but that means getting my, you know, sticky stuff out and everything. I have got a pen, but I like the stamped effect with the foil as well. So I might, if I've got a real plain one, I might show you that if I can. Right, but this I've just got a napkin with these, you know, it's actually <laughs> quite a swizz because you only get one, but then it, I can use this for a different background. You get one that's foiled and the rest are just normal, but still nice. I'd still use those for a background or something. And I thought I would put them on here. I've just cut one of my little labels down ready from one of my kits. It might even be a freebie. I'm not sure, but um, I'm going to have to look through um, some of the freebies. Yeah, I'll look through the freebies and see if there's any autumn ones. You know, some people, because you get new people all the time and not and they might not have seen the other videos or the posts on the freebies that are on my website so you know please check out there's still some there i don't use my website so don't ever message me on there the best way to message me is either through etsy i will always reply on etsy or on facebook but, um, yeah, because um, I have to be on my computer to go on, I'm not logged in and, oh, I just, I really don't like my website. I hate it, actually. That's why I don't put anything on there, but I keep it because I pay for my domain name. So, whilst I'm sure someone else will take up that name, like someone from China. Oh, I was going to put that there. No, I will still do that. I don't mind that overhanging a bit. That's fine. I didn't want to detract away from that. So, okay. Um, just ink up around the edges. I'm just going to do all the grommets the last thing. So I'm not going to do them now. Because like I said, I never know where they're going to go in the journal. And I put in the I only chain. Sometimes I'll put these tops on them, you know. And sometimes I'll put a grommet in. And sometimes I don't. I'll leave them as is. So it really will depend where it goes when I do another journal. And I just thought I wanted to do use up those bits that were left over and go from there. Okay. You can't beat butterflies. Um, yeah, I want that there. So again, you know, it's quite flat looking, isn't it? So I'm going to just put these on. So, sort of. Yeah. That's maybe a little bit fiddly for some people, but I don't mind. And... I think I'll put that one down there. Move that down slightly. See more of the leaf there. And that's it. So I'll put these on first. I'm using one of these um, silicone things. I think these are for nails, but they're actually really good. <laughs> and I don't ruin my paintbrushes because I'm always forgetting to wash them out. Okay, so I just finished that one off because you saw where I was going to put everything. Okay, so that's there. Done that one quick. And then I thought here, I would have a go with the stamp I made 
and most probably I think it's better about there. I'm going to try it with the foil and stuff. I've got some here that my sister gave me, so it just takes me a while. And some sticky stuff embossing powder. Now I've tried the inks and that. Yeah, they're okay. But um, I don't think I've tried the sticky stuff, even though I've had it for quite a while. So it's not going to stay there. There we go. That's, what I've got. So that's just some foiling stuff. Um, this is the embossing powder. It's I think it's by Rangers. Yeah, by Ranger. Sticky embossing powder. Okay, so yeah, I think you use your ink the same because there is ink pads as well. As, as I just said, sorry. Um, but this one, you use your ink and you put this over the top and then you can fall over the top of that. So I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it about there. I think. Let's, let's shut that. Let's give it a go. Um, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, oh, I opened this. I had this a while. I actually bought this last year. I thought I'd used one. Yeah, I did. And say so it's open. Um, I'll go to my verse mark. Sorry, if I haven't shown you that. That one I use most of the time. I, I like it because it stays nice and sticky. And you can put some glycerine on it as well. So I'm going to go up there, I think. Gotta be careful because I've already stitched this one, so I'm gonna have to be a bit careful with the thread. But then I can always stitch over it, I'm not worried. And this is like an afterthought. She might put something down there as well. Just in this bit here. I mean I don't mind if it doesn't oh, if it doesn't catch all of it, you know, I do, I don't mind. Let's put a bit down there as well. cures quite quickly so that's quite good so I have the stitching intact <laughs> okay I'm presuming you just do it straight away A bit sticky, so this is not yeah, this is dry. And this is quite a distressed circle stamp, if you know what I mean. I should have a go at one of the like something like that, might be interesting. Yeah, see, but it's added just a little bit of something, yeah, which I like. So it's bolder, I think bolder stamps work better, you know, like the Tim Holtz bold word stamps. But that's nice, that's added something, yeah. And just it just picks it up, doesn't it? A bit, yeah. So it's worked okay. Right, let's get on with this one here. Okay, 
and that was just a little flower okay one of the little flowers on the stem and i twirl it around something you know like this and then you know because it's bulky and then I, once it's done now flatten it yeah Okay, so that was that, that one, and uh, this one, well, simple because I'd already previously done this, and that's all I'm going to put on there. So anyway, it just shows you what I do, it's just a little cluster that I've done previously. I must make some... Um, more clusters too and i've got a little storage solution i think it's going to work and i think it will be quite nice to store them so you can see them and there we go and just think around there do we want a gold circle on there or a bit of the other um I only sort of want half. <laughs> so I'm going to really complicate things now and <laughs> just put half on there. I quite like it when they go off the edge, so. Okay. not worried too much because they can go on dry in here so yeah i like that it's just a little something actually we could have had the other half up there look couldn't we And that's the one. It just lightens it all up, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, is that it? Oh, no. These, <laughs> I was going to say, these ones I felt as though they had enough on there. But I might put some of the oh, embossing stuff on. You know what I mean? Oh, and the napkin. I'm going to leave it, I think. Okay. And that's all I'm going to do to that one. Okay. But I'll leave it to dry naturally. And this one here. Right. Okay. This one I feel I want someone else on. I might have the circles on again. Yeah, I will. I'm going to put a bit of that on because that was quite nice actually.
Right, I've got a little bit going on in elsewhere, which I don't want. So, just get a brush, of course, and just get that off. What I like about it, it adds it quite randomly, and, and this, this is sort of what I want, so it still looks quite distressed. Okay, there we go. I think I've done. I'm going to leave that out because I'm going to use that a bit more in something else. My sister gave me the foiling. I think she had quite a lot. So, right. Okay. I think that is, I'm going to call it a day. But you will most probably see these at a later date going into a journal. And, you know, I'll put the grommets or what I'm doing then. Okay. But that has finished. Uh, yeah, that's true. Must admit that um, Tim Holtz uh, stuff is pretty good for drying. It's not bad at all. You see one, I do it a lot, don't I? It is one of my favourite pastimes, <laughs> making collage, shot, collage sheets and then making tags and things from them. That's it. That one. That one. And as the smaller ones. That one now. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching then. Hope you enjoyed that and speak to you all soon. Bye.